1963 it started. Russell brought it back to uh, Saturday Night Prime Time. Maybe. For all his alienness, there's something very accessible and, and human about him. Whereas in, when I watched things like Star Trek, like it, they were sort of heroic guys. They were jocks. They were, they were, they were the people I could never aspire to be. Whereas the Doctor was, was sort of bumbled along. Excuse me, do you mind? Sorry, that was my little dish. You know, he saved the world with sticky back plastic and a, and a couple of pipe cleaners. Right, I've used sticky back plastic for speed, but of course you can use some sticky tape. I love the fact he hasn't got a boss. He yeah. hasn't actually got a mission. He hasn't got, he hasn't got anger driving him or money driving him. He's, he's the best hero of all, I think, because it's, that simply does the right thing. You're not expected really to follow who went before, you're expected to, to bring yourself to it. It's a great pride, I think, to us that we are handing it over now in, in rude health. You know, so you can find to go, okay, we got. We, <laughs> We didn't mess it up. Hand over that bomb. Somebody, it's somebody else's <laughs> it's still responsibility. Ticking. Yeah, <laughs> Take it. Yeah. <laughs> the way Doctor Who shot now is using a lot of new technology. It's not a limitless budget. We haven't got a movie budget. You know, so actually I think we find ourselves being as inventive and, and mm. tricky with the way we shoot it. For example, if you take a bus into a desert, you still actually have to take a real bus into a desert because if you add up the number of shots... It's cheaper to take a bus to a desert than to do it all on green screen. We're going to shoot a scene where a, a, a L red London bus travels through a wormhole in time and space and ends up on a desert planet. So the very crude practicality is you need to send a bus to the desert, which you need to do four weeks in advance? At least six, six weeks in advance, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we put a bus on a cargo container and, it, and it, it chugs around the coast and it finds its way to Dubai. And then as the bus is being taken off the cargo carrying freight, it gets smashed to bits with a crane. And there is no time to send another bus out. Plus, it's a very specific bus and there aren't any duplicates of it. Because we've already bought one duplicate of that bus to film with in Britain, so we need that. And to be honest, after I'd laughed for about an hour, it, it took one minute to fix, because you just say, we've got a damaged bus in Dubai, so that's what we shoot. We've it got turns a out damaged if bus. If you drive a bus through a wormhole in time and space, it gets a bit battered. That's yeah, what it looks like. A couple of rewrites yeah. and it's all fixed. I, because I'd grown up loving it, you kind of want to do it for your eight-year-old self, I suppose. You want, you want your eight-year-old self to be proud of what it is and to be captivated and fascinated by it.